Okay guys, we're gonna make a beautiful sweet pineapple sauce for our meat. We're gonna start off with a cup of sugar. I'm gonna pretty much eyeball it guys. Yeah, that's about a cup of sugar. There we go, and to that we're gonna add some water. One cup of water. We might even add more, so I'm just gonna put this aside for now. We're gonna cut up some pineapple. And we want them to be pretty big chunks. There we go. How much pineapple you put is really up to you. There we go. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put this in front of us. We're gonna put some salt to this. Let's say about one teaspoon to start off with. We're gonna put some chili flakes. I'd say about a maybe a tablespoon of chili flakes, about a tablespoon of sriracha, and I just want to mix this up first. And I'm gonna taste it. Oh, yes, I need some rice vinegar. There we go. I'd say about maybe half a tablespoon. We're going to mix this and we're going to taste it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to add a little slurry of, again, uh, one tablespoon of water with one tablespoon of starch and that should just thicken up the sauce You don't want this to be like glue. You want it nice and thick that you could toss your chicken meat in And we'll see we might add a few other things to it but We're gonna just taste it mm, Perfect, so I'm just gonna put this to cook Okay. Okay, so my meat's almost done, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do with the pieces I have. Uh, very simple recipe. And then I'm going to show you once the meat cools off. Okay, this is just a simple lunch meat. So I'm not making it for a whole bunch of people. I'm just making it for my daughter and I. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. I When I cook, I really don't measure it. But I'll give you an idea of what I do. So I am going to put a little bit of starch to this. Well, there we go. Maybe I knocked in a little too much, but that's okay. And to this, we're going to put a little bit of salt. There. And we're going to put some flour. And we're going to add water to this. So you want to add water slowly because you want to have almost like a, a thick coating around your meat. There we go. Wasn't so bad. I thought maybe I messed up, but I didn't. 
Now, I'm just doing it with the shredded meat, but otherwise you could do it with cubed meat. There's a little extra flour. But if you're having a big recipe, uh, you can follow my... I did a cauliflower recipe that you could just use that... Uh, oh, did I just do that? Sorry. Um, you could follow my cauliflower tempura. Uh, mixture rather than doing it the way I'm doing it right now because this is just me trying to hurry up and show you a, a little recipe but we're gonna fry this up and then we're gonna mix it with some pineapple pineapple sauce I'm gonna make my slurry since I'm here here's the slurry I made and I'm gonna put this in my pineapple sauce so I have it nice and ready for later. And I'm waiting for the oil to throw this in. And then I am going to put them on something to drain some of the oil off of it. Now I just threw this batter together. But otherwise you can simply, uh, the recipe I have up is for a half batch. So that will be good if you're doing it for a family and uh, or if you're not making it for a lot of people if you find that it's still way too much you can cut that recipe again in a smaller a smaller recipe for yourself but otherwise you can simply just throw some uh, some tapioca starch some flour a little bit of salt some water and make yourself a thick little paste like this and just keep playing with it until you get it right you want to be able to have like almost like a pancake, a thicker type of pancake mix so it sticks to your meat. Okay, so I've got some paper ready here so I could put my meat. Okay, so I have my paper ready so as my meat gets fried, I'm able to uh, put it on some paper to drain. And we're going to start frying this. And what's nice about when you have your shredded meat is that you could take a couple of them together and with the tempura it gives you like a nice piece of chicken meat. Okay, I just want to show you. This is cooked long enough. It's picked up the flavors of my pineapple. I am now going to add my slurry to this and thicken this up a bit. And we're going to have a nice little sauce, nice little sauce oops, to add with our chicken pieces. And here we are. Look, look how beautiful that is. See how it's already getting thick? It really doesn't take long, guys. You can make a beautiful pineapple sauce in very little time. Once you have your meat, it really takes, uh, once you have the meat in the refrigerator, it really doesn't take long for you to put some of these pieces together. And you can make a beautiful, beautiful dinner in no time at all. I'm going to add a little more sriracha. And I put another tablespoon of sriracha just to darken it up a little. And just to make it a little redder. There you go. Beautiful. I'm telling you, you can actually create so many recipes with very, very little food. Look what I did here. Uh, okay, my sugar is vegan because I'm from Montreal, I keep telling everybody. Uh, but a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of water, some chili, a little bit of sriracha. And if you don't have sriracha, you could actually use ketchup. It'll do the same thing for you. And a little slurry that I made, and I thickened up the sauce. Look how beautiful that is. And here's the chicken meat I made yesterday. And now I am making 
Uh, I made a small little tempura for my uh, for a couple of pieces, and that's going to be a delicious Chi Chi. Yes, I see you, baby. A delicious, delicious lunch for anyone, and in no time at all. It really didn't take long to make this. JJ, you have to be a good boy. So I'm going to keep frying this, and then I'm going to show you when I mix everything together. Just want to show you how thick it's getting. It really didn't take long, right? Who says vegan food is complicated? I've had so many people tell me, Oh, I can't cook vegan. It's so hard to cook vegan. Well, it really isn't hard to cook vegan whatsoever. So now your sauce, you're going to cook it as thick as you want. If you want a, a more liquid sauce, you cook it less. If you want it to really stick to your pieces of your chicken pieces, then you're going to cook your sauce just a little longer. And you make it nice and thick so when it coats your pieces, you can actually see that it is really adhered and stuck to your, uh, to your chicken bits. Never be afraid to cook and to come up with recipes in your kitchen. Like I tell everybody, you are your own master. You're the one who's going to decide what you're going to eat and how you're going to eat it. So, very simple. So there you go. Nice and thick. I might let it go just a little longer or I might just leave it to cool off. And I'm going to continue cooking my uh, chicken bits and then, or chicken bits. And then I'm going to put the dish together and show you how I do it. Here's my beautiful sauce, and I am going to, there we go, put this under here so I don't burn anything. We're going to start adding our pieces right into our sauce. Now, if you want it redder, you can use more of a chili, a chili paste to it, but that is really up to you how you want to do it. I am just going to leave it the way it is because it is good just the way it came out mm -mm. I wish you can smell this guys here we go beautiful beautiful plate we're gonna put some rice on here Now this is up to you if you want to press your rice down or if you want to leave it as a mound and just remove the uh, the top All right there we go hot 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 my rice is hot there we go And look how beautiful my pineapple chicken is. Now remember, the longer you cook your sauce, the thicker it gets. Or you can leave it more watery. That really is up to you. And we're going to put some pieces right on top. Put some pineapple. And look at this. How simple was this dish? Oh, I don't break it. Keep that up there. Some extra sauce on top. And we've got a little bit of green onion. A 
and a little bit of black sesame seeds. And there you go. Oh, <laughs> I figured it would fall right when I didn't want it to fall, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce. We have extra sauce if we want it. And how simple is this recipe, guys? And this is all done with that beautiful shredded chicken meat. And I'm not lying to you. Very simple, very few ingredients, and very good. So I hope you like this recipe, guys. Very simple. And if you do, share it with your friends. And I will make a shorter version video for some of you guys that don't want to do the long video. But there it is. Very simple. So I hope you like it. And if you do, share it with your friends. And leave a comment if you try it. And I'll see you in my next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.